Hey y'all, it's Christy with Christy's Custom Creations and hopefully y'all remember the review and unboxing that I did of the Enor single, single tumbler press here. Um, you can sublimate onto stainless steel, sublimatable tumblers, glass, all different kind of stuff with this uh, press here. And it's very versatile. You can use, you can do bigger cups, smaller cups. It's great and I love it. I've actually done another video or two using that for different tutorials since unboxing and reviewing it and everything. But I was just recently contacted again by Enor and they have come out with a new product. So they have actually come out with a double tumbler press. And so you can apparently, I haven't even opened it yet. So, but supposedly you can press the a, two different sizes at the same time and at two different temperatures. They're completely different units, but they're all in one if that makes sense. So I think it's going to be purple, which I'm pretty excited about. I love the mint color of this tumbler press here, but then I've got this one also. The cool thing about them is they, they do go on sale. I think they've got a sale starting on the doubler, double tumbler press, and I'll have the information linked down in the description box below. But um, let's unbox it and see what it, how it looks and see if we can create something with it. Pretty excited about it. Um, you can get it on Amazon, which is one of the things I absolutely love about it because I am a Amazon aholic. So I'll have it linked in the description box below, along with the details on any sales or anything that they're having on it. <clears throat> okay. Whew. All right. It says two station tumbler press machine by Emer. I have been extremely um, happy with this tumbler press here. I mean, just absolutely thrilled with it. It presses so great. I haven't had any problems with it. I had a little bit of a learning curve whenever I first started working with this the very first time, but, and I don't know if it's really possible, but I was having a hard time with the paper sticking to the stainless steel tumblers I was using. Um, and it was an old paper. I'd had the paper for a while and I ended up using all that paper and I bought some new paper of the same brand and since then I haven't had any sticking problems. So I think it was just, um, I think it was a paper problem because I haven't had any other problems since then. Y'all, this is pretty. It's purple. Okay, let me get it out. Maybe. really well. There we go. Just bump the power cord. Okay, so it looks like we have one single power cord and it looks like it's going to be the same exact uh, adapter connector as the other press that I have. So in here you've got a uh, user manual and there's also a fuse in here. So I've never needed to use a spare fuse, knock on wood, but um, hopefully I don't need to anymore. Mm, look how pretty this is, y'all. Purple. This is awesome. Alright. It's definitely packaged well. Okay, let me, let me move y'all just a little bit closer and we will take a closer look at this thing. All right, so here we go. So with the Enor Tumbler Press, I'm not sure if I would, I'd probably put it this way um, to keep it on my table because your lettering, your logo, your display panels, you have two different display panels. Um, they both point down this way. So I would probably keep it like this. <laughs> now we got to figure, oh, it's got a locking thing on it. That's cool. So it locks right here. It keeps it closed. That's cool. That is definitely different from this one because this one, you push down on it and it uses the force of this handle to keep it down. So this one here, you actually have a lock and when you pull it shut, it clicks into place. That's really neat. I wasn't expecting that, but I like it. All right, so we've got here, we're gonna plug this in. There's a little notch that you have to line up. Plug it in and then twist the little nut on maybe 
I'm feeling my cord's twisted. Hang on. Let me untwist this cord. Okay. Here we go. I'm trying not to put my big head in the way while I'm doing this. So it makes it a little harder on me because I can't really see very well. Okay. So here is the other one. Line it up. There's a little notch here. You line it right there. All right, there we go. And then it uses the same plug as this one over here does. So instead of crawling up underneath the table to plug this one in, I'm just going to plug it in here. And the plug is right here on the back, which is extremely convenient. Um, you've got power buttons and you've got green buttons here and red buttons back here. So, okay, these, the one here, and there's a left and a right. So it tells you which side. So this, this control panel controls the left side. This control panel controls the right side. So you turn it on and off. Let's get a little bit lower. You turn it on and off with the buttons back here. I don't know if you can see it on the screen or not. I don't think you can. I think the uh, camera makes it look a little weird. But anyways, you turn it on and off right here. And then these okay this green button right here the two green buttons in the front these are timers so they start a timer and you have a set you can set your timer you can set your heat and then you activate and turn the timer on with these green buttons so once you close this thing up and it's ready to go you click it in boom you turn the timer on and your timer starts so i really really like this um, you adjust the thickness of your tumbler or mug or whatever you're doing with this right here you're going to if you need it looser you're going to turn it to the left if you need it to close tighter you'll turn it to the right so as you can see here it appears that it does a fairly t small tumbler and i know that they do have different sizes available. So the one that's on this side of the tumbler actually is made to accommodate, it's on the left side, it's made to accommodate a larger tumbler, more like a 30 ounce or even a 40. Um, this side right here, you can do smaller tumblers with. You just adjust. And I mean, you can still do 20 ounce tumblers on both sides. It's just if you need this side to do a larger one or you need this side to do a really small one, it, you can and that is an option for you so I am really loving this so far I think this is awesome how it has the clips and it just clips into place to lock it in and then you just touch it there so and you can like I said before you can run this side and leave this side off or you can run both sides at the same time at different temperatures and everything so that's r different temperatures sizes i mean it's one unit but it's two completely different sides which is really super cool i really like that a lot so at first glance i am extremely impressed with this tumbler press the double tumbler press i think it is awesome that you can press two at the same time um, I noticed when I was using the single one, whenever I was doing the glass, you have to sublimate the glass for quite a bit longer than you do the metal. So I was kind of just standing around twiddling my thumbs, waiting on the glass to press. So with a double tumbler press, you can wait on this one to press while you're wrapping another one. You've got enough time to, to turn around and wrap another one and get it ready to go while this one's pressing. and. Like I said, you can do different size mugs. So I personally, I like to do the snow globe uh, glass tumblers. And then I also like to do the 20 ounce skinny straight sublimatable tumblers. So what I will do is I will set one side that will fit the glass. And then I will set the other side that will fit the 20 ounce skinny. And I'll probably leave it at that because that's the sizes that I personally press. And I don't I really, I don't usually need other sizes. It's not hard to adjust, but it's just nice to have it already set 
wherever it needs to be. I don't know if y'all can hear it or not. I have a bunch of baby chickens right now because uh, I let my chickens hatch out some eggs and they're so loud they're in a brooder um so if you hear the chirping and everything that's what it is it's a bunch of baby chickens chattering away so um but yeah i'm i'm really impressed so my next video i will be pressing a a glass tumbler and a 20 ounce skinny sublimatable uh, stainless steel tumbler so be sure to stay tuned for that i wanted to get this unboxing out for everyone to see because if you are interested in it they are having a sale um it's gonna start this weekend so i will have the sale information down below but i wanted to get this out so that no one missed out on the sale if they're interested in being able to press two at the same time so i hope everybody has a wonderful day and if you have any questions at all please feel free to drop them down in the comments below i will do my very best to answer for everybody i always try my best to answer everybody's questions. Um, but yeah, keep an eye out for this video of me using this press. I'm so excited about it. This, and I love the color. Like, I love the mint of this color. I really do. But this is awesome as well. I keep hitting that. But this is awesome as well. I just, I really like the purple. I'm gonna give y'all one more big close up of it. <laughs> Look how pretty it is. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's a good looking unit. If you like this video or you wanna make sure that you don't miss the next video where I press a glass and a stainless steel tumbler, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps out my channel whenever you do and y'all have no idea how much I appreciate it. Uh, I hope everyone has an absolutely wonderful Easter weekend. Hope you get to spend time with your family and as always, take care. Bye.